Good morning, everybody, and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sierra, and I created this channel to have a fun, uplifting, and inspiring content to share for everybody. In this season of life, I am currently living in Europe. I just moved a couple of months ago from Kansas City, which is in the Midwest region of the United States, to Romania. So experiencing all life has to offer, creating new memories, and traveling to lots of fun in different places. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure that you subscribe so that you can follow along with me. Today, I wanted to do my Botox experience. I have been researching and looking into Botox for the last, I would say, probably five years. I have done so much research on the side effects, what it does, how it works, watched hundreds of videos on people's testimonials and knew that one day it was something that I definitely wanted to try. Whenever I moved to Europe, I decided this was the perfect time for me to try this. I was definitely a little bit nervous going into it. I just wanted to look really natural and I did not want to look fake or frozen at all. So whenever I was doing research, I found a doctor close by my apartment that offered baby Botox. I wanted to try the baby Botox first just to make sure that I liked it. I feel like the full amount of Botox definitely makes you more frozen. And so with the baby Botox, it wears off a little bit faster and definitely isn't as frozen looking, I feel like. If you research Botox and if you've looked it up before, then you know how freaking expensive it can be which is honestly one of the reasons why I waited so long as well, because that's a lot of money to drop. Like it could be upwards of like five to $600 is what I was seeing back in the United States. Whenever I got here, I found a doctor that offered baby Botox for $200. I booked an appointment and had a consultation. I didn't really know what to expect because you hear some people during their visits say that they felt if you went in for just one area, maybe they would like upsell you to different areas. So the place that I went to, the doctor was absolutely amazing. She was so knowledgeable. So we had a, I want to say it was probably like a 25 to 30 minute session before the procedure. She basically went over all of the side effects of what to expect how Botox works. I really appreciated that she was taking the time to try to educate me. Everything that she was saying, I already completely knew. So the funniest part is when I'm just sitting plain, like with no expressions on my face, you can't really tell how strong my muscles are, but I don't really have lines. She's like, okay, so before we start, I want to take before and after pictures. So she had me in front of this door and she's like, okay, raise your eyebrows. <laughs> so I raised my eyebrows and she took a picture and then she's like, okay, smile really, really big. So I smiled. She's like, I think we need to bump up the units than originally thought. So basically we just treated these two areas, the forehead, the glabella area and then the crow's feet. I didn't touch anything else on my face and she recommended a certain amount of units. Honestly, I can't remember off the top of my head how many units she used, but whenever she started taking the pictures, she was like, okay, I think we actually need more units. She's like, you have very strong muscles. <laughs> So I was laughing at that. Anyway, she sat me down in the chair after the consultation, drew up the vial. She started in the forehead area. That didn't bother me. She basically just had me squint, raise my eyebrows, and then she'd say, okay, relax. And then she would inject in that area. One mistake I did make is my appointment was at like one o'clock and I didn't eat or drink anything ahead of time. And <laughs> During the procedure, I definitely got nauseous. I started getting really hot and uncomfortable. Like my body was reacting to having the needle. <laughs> it's so annoying. So she like got me a piece of chocolate and got me some water. She's like, okay, let's take a break for a second and then we can start again 
here in a little bit, but let's give you a second to like calm down. We had our little snack session. People say that you don't feel it. It's like a zero out of 10. You can't feel it at all. Like I literally felt nothing. That is a lie. I don't know if I'm just a sissy or what, but I definitely did feel it. The forehead wasn't that bad, but whenever she moved to around the eyes, that skin is so sensitive and I definitely did feel it. Immediately after the procedure, this is what it looked like. So it definitely looks like you have a little bites on your face, but she did tell me that it would take about a week to two weeks for the Botox to fully set in. That is very true. It did take some time. I just wanted to make sure I didn't like mess with anything or mess up anything. So I tried to move my facial expressions as little as possible the next couple of days. And then about after, I would say it was probably almost exactly one week. I felt like the Botox was fully set. Definitely in my forehead, like I could move like this, but nothing would move at all. Um, here in the frown, I could frown a little bit, but I definitely didn't have lines there. And then on the crow's feet, whenever I smiled, I had literally no lines at all, which I have such strong facial expressions. I want, I don't know if I really have any photos or videos of it, but if I do, I will definitely try to insert some here so that you can see that. Right now I'm about two months out from my initial session where I got the Botox done and I honestly love the results. So one thing that really bothered me was my crow's feet. You can't really notice it that much because I don't have lines all the time on my face. I've really worked hard on my skincare and wearing sunscreen and moisturizing my face and using retinol. So I've been really consistent on those things. And honestly, just that alone has improved my skin tremendously. I actually have a picture of me that my husband took. We went on a walk here in Romania down by the river. The picture of me, like my crow's feet were so prominent. The lines were just so bad. As I'm getting older, I want to have a preventative method that just helps you age more gracefully. I definitely don't want to erase every single line and every single flaw on my face. Overall, my experience was so great. Like the Botox is still wearing off, so it is still like current. As you can see, like I do have some movement here, especially frowning, like that's almost completely back to normal. And then with smiling, I'm getting a little bit here, but nothing like it was before. So my goal with Botox is to just get it done every couple of years. It's not something that I plan on keeping up on every six months. I don't know the next time I go back if I would do a full units of Botox or not, if I would keep doing just the baby Botox. Because like I said, I still want to age. I just want it to be a little bit more gracefully and a little bit more preventative than what it looks like now. So I feel like baby Botox was the perfect baby step into getting Botox and it definitely just made me feel more confident. I still feel like myself and I can still make expressions and smile big and look surprised, but also looking natural and it's not completely frozen. So anyways, this was my experience. I think that you should do whatever makes you feel best. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I will definitely respond. I appreciate you being here and cannot wait to continue to experience life, learn, and grow together. I'll see you in the next video. Bye.